like th I disagree with this. You know, much love the Gila, but I disagree with this sentiment. Saying free Palestine in that moment is is it, it comes with the recognition of all of the things that happened on October 6, on October 5, on October 4, on October th October 3rd. It comes with the recognition of at the time 75 years of apartheid, right? Like that is the reality. And this is This is just, I think, I think what's crazy about this and you guys need to stop. You need to shut the fuck up. They are probably, there are probably so many people in here right now that are literally logging every single thing that you are saying, and they're going to use that against me. And against the broader point that I'm trying to make, you're falling for the bait. You really, really need to, I can't fucking, I can't ban every single person in the chat. Okay, but this is an unimaginably frustrating situation because a lot of you get up in your fucking feelings and you want to say the most unhinged shit you can, not recognizing that there are literally currently at least 300 to 1,000 people that are watching, not just me and not what I'm saying so that they can purposely misconstrue it, but also to look at chat so they can fucking log each individual person, okay? log each individual fucking person this is literally the reason why i hate talking about the subject from uh the perspective of what ethan says because zero people actually care about my opinion on the matter zero people including those who are saying unhinged shit in the chat right now none of you actually care about the way that you are presenting yourself none of you actually care any longer about israel nor palestine you just simply want to talk shit in the chat because you think you're being anonymous but every single thing that you say right now is l being logged so that it can be used against what I'm saying, okay? Because there are thousands of hate watchers that are sitting in here right now that are purposely crafting the narrative that you motherfuckers are anti-Semitic, okay? Think about the student protests. Think about how well they conducted themselves. Think about what happened in the aftermath of the way that they conducted themselves and people still consider them to be fucking anti-Semitic. And if they couldn't find a way to, uh, you know, massage the narrative, they made up fake fucking chats. Okay. I'm going to put the fucking chat in emote mode because a lot of you are fucking annoying. And if you think you can get away with the shit in the discord as well, I will ban you from discord too. Okay. Many of you want me to cover subject matter like this because you love fucking drama. All right. But in an effort, even when I'm doing it, even when I'm doing it, you can't fucking hold yourself back. You get so autistic. Like your hyper fixation turns into just saying the most like unhinged shit, knowing full well that someone is out there just fucking logging every single time someone in here says some fucking unhinged shit. Shit that you wouldn't personally agree with you know, if you had a calmer mind. But in that moment, it doesn't matter. Your community does not understand that they're taking bait from other communities when they drama bait this shit. They're hurting you by doing this, by tweeting shit, by saying shit in Discord. Exactly. Because absolutely zero people care about my well thought out, well balanced perspective on this issue. Most people simply want to say, Hassan hates Ethan because he's Jewish. Okay? And you are just giving people an opportunity for them to craft a wonderful narrative like that, undoing tens, like undoing a decade of work I've put into one, shitting on anti Semites, and two, being a fucking anti Zionist, because you just learned about Gaza yesterday, okay? And you are hyper passionate, and you wanna show everybody how fucking passionate you are. And the only mechanism to show how passionate and how with Gaza you are is by fucking chirping about a content creator you see on screen and calling them a fucking Nazi. Okay? Shut the fuck up. This is precisely what I've described a million fucking times over. This is exactly why I hate covering this issue because Ethan's perspective on this matter is completely irrelevant to me. Okay? It doesn't change the dynamic of geopolitics, okay? It doesn't change the dynamic of America's undying loyalty to continuing to facilitate the genocide in Gaza. 
Okay, children are fucking dying every day. You saying Eli is a Nazi is not going to save anyone. It's just gonna make you look like a fucking asshole, and it's gonna make me look like a fucking asshole because they're gonna clip that and turn around and say, "See, this is the community he's fostered," and you don't even fucking believe that anyway. You don't. In the moment, you're mad, so you want to show you want to show everyone how fucking pro Palestine you are. That's it. That's all this is. It's understandable to be passionate about this issue, but you also have to recognize the environment that you're in, okay? A lot of you dumb fucks don't understand that the American government and the way that they analyze pro-Palestinian sentiment is just, you're a terrorist, okay? They currently are literally behind closed doors going, how the fuck do we deal with so many goddamn children talking about how much they love Hamas, okay? Shut the fuck up. It's very annoying. And let me tell you, okay, people that have fucking been doing this for years have definitely a very different framework of how to carry on their message. Okay? You think fucking, uh, what's his name? Moin Raban or any number of different like Muslim commentators? Think about the way they fucking carry themselves. Think about the way they talk about this issue. Why do you think they talk about this issue like this? You think Rashid Khalidi is going to fucking say shit like this? You think Edward Said would have said shit like this? No. You want to know why? Because they understand the fucking environment they're in. I've been saying this since October 7. Never think that you can be even remotely as callous as someone who defends Israel. Okay? They can say everything about you and you can say nothing. You have to put your best foot forward, okay? You should never, ever, ever say shit like this. God damn, you live in America. That's what I, that's exactly what I said about fucking ever say you got his office bomb simply for existing as a Palestinian in higher ed. Yeah. People who have been in favor of Palestinian emancipation, especially those from Arab background or from Muslim backgrounds, have known this reality for fucking decades, okay? I'm sorry, I don't wanna hear from white people in fucking Iowa. I love how excited everyone is in terms of Palestinian emancipation, but I don't wanna hear fucking, you know, people chirping, especially when they're not the ones who are gonna get fucking deported, okay? I just wish your young viewers who are borderline obsessive about you would trust what you say on this shit. Yeah. Come on, guys. Please. Being a leftist is about getting shit on every damn day of the fucking week, okay? But still maintaining your principles and trying to make sure that you can communicate a better future for all people, okay? Including people who are living inside of Israel. Very disappointing. But now you know why I don't fucking talk about this shit that much from this perspective. Now you know why I don't talk about uh, what Ethan has said about me because some of you dumb fucks do get fucking out of control. He's trying to leverage the situation to his advantage and is talking to Ethan behind the scenes plenty on stream. You see his recent Reddit's visited. Destiny's always there. I don't care. Okay, I don't. I mean, great. Like, sure, fine. Who cares, okay? I don't think that Ethan's worldview is ultimately... Uh, ultimately compatible with someone who uh i mean exactly the type of person who he like routinely shits on and i don't think that it's like i think people i think people want to be appreciated i think people want to be liked okay and if a community of people are being like you're fucking shit you suck whether for good reason or for bad reason 
and a group of people take advantage of that and say, we love you. You're doing a great job. They are going to absolutely fucking lootly. They're going to absolutely take advantage of that situation. And of course, I don't even fault him for uh, potentially going there to find talking points or whatever. He's permanently on Reddit. I try to tell him like, this is literally, that is a fucking destiny. That is, isn't that, I know this username. Isn't this like a boner Chelly fucking massive fan? Straight up, every time there's an LSF post, every time there's an LSF post of me, it's that motherfucker. That's, cr wait, hold on. <laughs> How do I know usernames? Why do I know a Redditor? Because this motherfucker has posted so many LSF clips of me that they know him on LSF. Uh, he's probably in here right now salivating i think what's crazy about this is that like ethan is very frustrated and very emotional in this moment but doesn't recognize that like perhaps a lebanese woman who's a hijabi in the united states of america could also be very emotional in this exact same moment you know what i mean like that's what's so and, and the reality of the matter is anti-Semitism is a, an unacceptable form of bigotry. Whereas Islamophobia is a very acceptable form of bigotry. So being the bigger person in this situation, regardless of your feelings, is absolutely to not unload with a much larger audience on a person of this background. You know what I mean? She was ultimately correct though. Ethan did unfollow her because she seemed too pro Hamas for his days. Now he's so angry and doing the how dare you bit. Like. It's funny because like I tried to tell Ethan at the time. I was like, you know, Frogan's like a massive fan of yours. Like they're not like she's not. Um, what is it? Oh, I got to go. I got to finish. I'll finish this tomorrow. I got to do the podcast. I know. Um, Austin's here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Got to turn off the computer for the night. I might not even. I might not even get back to this video, to be honest. I mean, we'll see. I might get back to it. Who knows? The thing I hate more than anything else is that, like, you guys know what my opinion is on, uh, on, on the things that actually do matter right you know my, you know what my opinion is on things that actually do matter such as israel palestine okay all this does in my by my estimation is just it causes unnecessary friction and drama and it will absolutely turn into a much larger conversation like it'll turn into quote unquote drama content and I fucking hate giving some of the biggest scumbags on the internet a crumb of fucking clout off of this shit because they eat so goddamn good. Okay? That's it. And the reality is my audience does not, my audience does not listen to me at all. You don't. And you are so fucking annoying when you don't listen to me. Okay. We're talking about people getting fucking arrested for protesting for Palestine in places like Michigan in all in in college campuses all around the country and you dumb fucks are in the chat chirping. You know what I mean? It's just you're chirping about drama. You're chirping about drama and you're actually creating more drama which inevitably ends up harming whatever values you espouse and and like if your goal is to have your audience reach as broad have have this message reach as broad an audience as possible and and then your your other goal is to basically fucking uh, your other goal is to basically fucking chirp as much as you can in an emotional moment because you feel unhinged at that moment and you can't stop yourself 
<laughs> then you have to always remember. I said it after October 7 and it bears repeating now. Advocates for Palestine must be 100 times more careful than defenders of Israeli apartheid and genocide since there's a whole ecosystem to smear and ostracize pro-Palestinian voices. It's not fair, but it is what it is. Exactly. Do not let your... Do not let your interest in fucking chirping in the chat get in the way of you trying to communicate a much more important desire for a free Palestine. And you do that. You do that. You get ahead of yourselves. And it doesn't even matter. Even if you don't do that, they're going to smear you as anti-Semitic anyway. So why the fuck are you saying things that are unhinged? Why? Stop. It's like so much brigade. This this reaction to this video is precisely why leftovers ended. Okay, because it's no longer about a, an emotional subject such as genocide. Okay, but it's an emotional subject with an association of two communities that are at odds with one another, and and are very parasocially invested in the outcome. Okay, that's it. That's it. I can't even get through a fucking video for 33 minutes before before chat starts fucking going crazy. Okay. Everyone is terminally fucking online. And everyone wants to... Everyone wants to scream into the void like nobody can hear them. And it's a perfectly understandable desire, especially given the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands that have been killed so far. Okay. But you have to think about it from the perspective of is what I'm doing actually going to advance the cause or will it be used against the cause? Okay. That's why. And that's also precisely the reason why I don't fucking like no matter what Ethan says, I don't cover it. Because I think that I know I know better than you do the way that this environment works. I know that Ethan can say whatever he wants about me and my community, okay, at the end of the day, or about Frogan or about the mods. Okay. And that will not receive the same level of scrutiny. That whatever random fucking chatters, not me, random fucking chatters in the chat are saying, okay? That's it. That's it. So if you don't, if you, if you want to, if you can't think about it from the perspective of just like being normal and not insane and unhinged, okay? You should think about it from the perspective of like not giving some of the biggest scumbags. I'm not even I'm not talking about Ethan here. I'm talking about all of the other communities that will eat good off of even this amount of coverage. Okay? They will comb through this entire chat and comb through what I said to find any moment that they can to frame completely out of context and to make really false, hurtful accusations that they know are false, but they don't care in an effort to launch an endless sequence of attacks and continue the drama. Meanwhile, people that I know that I talk to are still at death's doorstep in fucking Gaza, okay? Israel is moving into the West Bank. They're harassing journalists. They're doing whatever the fuck they want. And America is giving unlimited funds and unlimited weapons to Israel to do so. And that dynamic is never going to change. And all you've done in that circumstance is basically deflate one vector of criticism against that by leaning in to your unhinged and oftentimes narcissistic desires. And you have given an opportunity to some of the biggest fucking scumbags. Okay. Yeah, 
One of Bonicelli's biggest orbiters is literally doing that right now. They have pages of screenshots from the Discord, and they're half an hour behind you watching the VOD. They're pathetic and don't deserve the oxygen. There you go. While Janine was leveled, that's what these guys care about. You know why? Because they can't defend Israel. That's it. And you are giving them a wonderful fucking opportunity. I didn't know what this video looked like. And I didn't know how fucking chat was going to react. So thank you. Thank you. I can't wait for the Keemstar and the Destiny videos and all the fucking endless tweets from Fear Buck and all these other fucking clippers who have never spent a single moment thinking about the inhumanity in Gaza to farm revenue off of your unhinged desire to show how fucking pro-Palestine you are. Thank you. You did it. Anyway, good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you all. Free Palestine.